Hello and welcome to TechWeb YouTube channel. So in this video I will guide you with .igdm extension and I will help you to remove this virus from the computer and I will tell you some of the ways to recover your encrypted data as there is no official decryptor yet for this ransomware because this is the new ransomware which belongs from Stop DJVU family so it will encrypt all of your data either with the online key or offline key and you will not be able to open any kind of your file from your computer so before I can go further I want to share some of the important points which you need to keep in mind once you will get this ransomware attack so the, so the first point is don't turn your internet connection on so you don't need to use your internet once you will get this ransomware attack as there will be some unknown IP addresses in the host file which will connect your computer to the uh, attacker server so uh, my recommendation is not to use your computer not to use your internet uh, before removing those IP addresses in the host file so the second point is you don't need to pay any ransom to the attacker as there is no guarantee that they can decrypt your data and it's illegal to pay ransom in some of the countries so make sure you are not paying any ransom to any attacker now uh, the most common uh, of these ransomware attacks are because you must have tried to download any crack any torrent or any unknown file from unknown websites so don't uh, click on those links and, av and avoid visiting any unknown websites now let's get straight to the video and subscribe our channel uh, so that once we will get more information regarding this ransomware and we will definitely upload the video for you and you will get benefited so first of all I'm going to show you some of the comments which you are going to see on every YouTube video and there are some of the comments you don't need to pay heed to them because these are the scammers and which uh, and you will only lose the money if you are going to pay them they will advise you that this and this group has decrypted my data on Instagram or any other place so don't pay heed to them and uh, uh, now let us get uh, straight to the video and first of all what you need to do is we need to check the host file of your computer to make sure uh, if there is any unknown IP address and if there is we need to remove them immediately so now follow the steps what you need to do is click on search and type notepad and then click OK and then run it as administrator click yes and then go to file and click on open and then click on C drive and then click on Windows and then you will find one more folder called system32 and now again scroll down a bit and you will find one more folder called drivers so you need to click on drivers here and now you will find etc folder click there and then click on all files so here is the host file of your computer click there and click to open now this is the host file and these all IP addresses are your IP addresses these are the local IP addresses and you will find bundle of IP addresses after that so what you need to do is you need to select them all and then you need to right click and you need to delete them all and after that you need to click on file and then save so this is the first step and after doing that step you can use your internet and uh, so now let's move to the second step so if your data is not important you can do one thing you can uh, format your computer and you can use your computer without any problem and uh, if you if you want you can store your data to any external storage device and you can use your uh, computer after uh, formatting it or after installing a new window so this is the second option and after that uh, this runs somewhere uh, is encrypting your data either with the online key encryptor or offline key encryption method if this is the offline key uh, you can use EMSI soft decryptor to decrypt your data but if it's online so it's using RS encryption you will not be able to decrypt any data at the moment however there are some of the data re recovery softwares which we can use to recover some of the data but there is no guarantee that they you can decrypt your data at the moment and you will find a lot of videos after that on the YouTube and they will uh, tell you the same thing uh, but but no one can work and hopefully we will get back to you with the solution very soon and so let's get to the recovery part now first of all what you need to do is uh, you need to remove this virus from the computer now and I'm suggesting you not to use any cracked version or any free version of uh, 
uh, antivirus uh, if you have any premium antivirus on your computer you can scan your computer either if you want to buy you can buy a Casper Sikai antivirus I will put the link in the description you can buy it uh, it will not cost you more than 300 Indian rupees so it's uh, approximately four to five dollars you can spend and you can uh, you can buy it and you can scan your computer with the legitimate antivirus after scanning the computer what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, go on to the I will check the restore point if we have any restore point on the computer so we can get back our computer to that previous stage if there is any date mentioned on the restore point and your computer will forget all the changes after that date so how can you do that just click on Windows and click R then press then type R S T R U I dot E X E so this is the short form of restore point now it will search if there is any restore point click next now we have three restore point dates here for example if my computer was doing good on 9 9 2020 I will click on that and then I will click next so you need to find if there is any of the date and it was previous to that when your computer was doing good for example if you got attacked today if there is any restore point of yesterday or day after that you just need to click on that date and then click on next and after that click on finish so your computer will get restarted and you will get your data back without any problem if you have any restore point now if you don't have any restore point you can check it uh, what you need to do is you need to go on to your Google Chrome or any other browser whatever you are using and uh, you need to download a software called uh, Windows Explorer so just click there and type Windows Explorer yeah sh shadow Explorer download click there and then click download shadow explorer then you need to click there and it will get downloaded and after installing that it will show you the dates as well as well as the drives so if, so if it locates any of the previous dates you just need to export the data from there and if it if you don't have any uh, restore point there as well you need to download one more software then uh, what we can do is you need to download a software called test disk photo rack I will put the link in the description so once you will download the software you need to after downloading it will get downloaded as an a RAR file you need to extract that so I'm going to extract it and after that so here is the folder you need to click there and after that scroll down a bit and here we go so there is a folder there is a file called QP photo rack underscore win you need to click there and then you need to click open now it will take some time and click yes so now this is the main interface of the software you need to click on whole drive and then click on file formats then click on reset and after that for example if you want to recover any PNG file click on PNG okay and then if you want to recover any PDF click on PDF so select those and then click on OK and then click on browse after that uh, you need to click on uh, you need to make a new folder or you can uh, you can use any other folder to recover the data I will make a new folder called REC then click there and then select the folder and then you need to click on search so it will take some time and you just need to check your folder where you uh, you need to put so after checking the folder you will find some of the images and if it's working then you are good to go but if it's not working still you need to wait for the decryptor and uh, I told you earlier that we are working hard for you guys and hopefully we'll get back to you with the solution not only for this ransomware but for SGLH, VV, uh, VVOA and other WEI so we are working hard for you guys and hopefully we'll get back to you with the solution and one more software I'm going to use is Wondershare recover it so I will put the link in the description this is the premium software but uh, I can I can let you know how you can use it for free so you can use that software uh, to recover some of the data as well so this was the video for today and I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you in the next video with some more information till then goodbye